Hey, 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 Scorpio, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Wednesday, May 20th to the 21st. Intuitive Love Tarot read. This is for Scorpio's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Scorpio, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions. The info is in the description box below. All right. Let's see what's going on with you, Scorps. We're going to pull four cards here and then get a channeled message from Spirit just for you. You may want to check out the channeled message for um, cancer <laughs> because it was at the end of the message they told me it was um, for all water signs it has to do with water so even if you just want to see the beginning um, okay so the four cards we have is the Empress the nine of wands the six of cups and the eight of swords at the bottom of the deck the knight of wands Hmm. Okay, let's get this message. I'm hearing walking away unscathed. Hmm. Pick and choose your battles, I'm hearing. Let sleeping dogs lie. Like they're giving me all these sayings. Why are you giving me all these sayings? Maybe they mean something to you. All these euphemisms. Well, let's see. Let sleeping dogs lie. Walking away unscathed. Okay, now they keep going with them. Like they're saying love is a battlefield. Um, this may be something that has gone through your mind over and over again. Like it, I almost feel like you can't find a solution to a, to an issue, a problem. So you're, oh, they, for some of you, you've actually come across these sayings or whether that be in songs, whether that be. Um, I don't know, seeing it on a billboard or seeing it online as you're, you're browsing. So it may make sense to uh, some of you because they just, they were keeping with, with the euphemistic, you know, statements over and over and over again. I mean, one, two, okay, but there's like six of them. <laughs> hmm, Interesting. So is there any, um, I don't know, purpose to that? Okay. Listen to what you already know. Hmm. Pay attention to what you already know. So you, you may, it's like these euphemisms, right? I guess we've, we've heard them all, right? We know what they are. We know what they mean. And it's like you already know what to do. You already you already know the answers. It's just a matter of acting upon the solutions, right? And that comes down to choice. <laughs> I gotta love the way spirit works sometimes. They they cracked me up. But I always learn something. So it's never boring. I have to say that. All right, Scorpio. So we have the Eight of Swords over the Empress. So you are going round and round and round in your head about something. It could be about a person. This is Taurus or Libra. You could be dealing with the Taurus or Libra. But this is a prison of your own making. So whatever it is, it's like you're doing it to yourself. It almost doesn't matter what it has to do with, but because inquiring minds want to know, 
we're going to look. This could have to do with somebody from your past because we do have the Six of Cups here. It's across from the Nine of um, Wands. So you're defensive. Are you... Okay, it's not that. I'm asking, are you defending the past? And they said no. You're... Okay. It's like, okay. I feel like memories are coming to you, Scorpio. Um about past circumstances, dealing with possibly a childhood sweetheart, right? Or a past love. It's a very sweet, innocent love, right? This is a past life soulmate as well. And it's like, I feel like you don't want these memories. And you're like, why am I having these memories? I don't want them. You're trying to push them away. You're trying to guard yourself from the memories. You get the more you try to guard yourself, the more these memories are going to keep flooding in. And I almost want to say, you know that. And I know it's it's funny. I had a private reading today from a from a friend and it's just so different when you get a reading from somebody else. It's like shit you already know, but it's hard to apply it. Well, see, I shouldn't even say hard because that was another discussion, but um you know, it's like you already know. So why aren't we acting on it? Right? It like seems so sensible, but we make it more complicated than it actually is. All right. Yeah. Five of swords. And I was looking at the nine of wands here about this defensiveness, right? Now, this is talking about anger, jealousy. So perhaps you're looking, um, if this person is coming up into your conscious mind, right? Then maybe, maybe you're looking at where they are now and you're perhaps jealous or um, envious or angry, angry because this is a card of jealousy angry um you know winning at all costs it's like i feel like you think life is a competition when it's not and if it is a competition it's a competition against yourself it's never a competition against other it doesn't matter where other people are you know be happy for where other people are that's the way that i see it so i never understood why people get jealous of where other people are it just doesn't make sense to me it's like good you know good for you if you're living your dream if you're you know um working towards your purpose and you're happy because the more happy people we have on the planet the higher the vibration right so why is this why the five of swords here why the five of swords here Hmm, Queen of Cups and the Page of Wands. I feel like you're admiring their youthful nature. Okay, and their intuitive aspects here with the Queen of Cups. So try to go along with that feeling, Scorpio. Look at it from a different perspective and say, okay. Why do I, it's not serving me to be angry or jealous about something. This isn't a contest. So you know what? I'm just going to be happy for where they are. I can, you can admire other people, right? They're, they're an example for, um, they stand for different things. So take something from it. Take, just try to find the positive in it. Okay. That'll switch your energy and get you out of the state. Tell me about the six of cups. Oops. Four of Wands and Ace of Swords. Uh, you perhaps, I feel like there's unfinished business here, Scorpio. It's like it, it, you don't have any truth and clarity within the situation. It could be somebody that you had a long-term relationship with, possible marriage, some sort of union, some sort of long-term relationship. I'm definitely feeling if it's not marriage. Who is this empress to you? Hmm, two, um, something. Clarify this two of, uh, wow. Yeah, you would definitely, I want to say married to this person. 
That's what I want to say. Because you have the emperor and the empress here. So what I'm hearing is at one time they were your husband or wife. Don't pay attention to the gender because it can, it can be switched up. It's only masculine, feminine energy. So why are you up in your head? Queen of Wands. Yeah, look at that. Nine of Swords. Anxiety and fear. But why? Ay, ay, ay. Four of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Scorpio. Now, this is the card of the miser, right? But holding on, and I feel like you're holding on to something that is not serving you. Now, whether it's the clarity on the situation, the, it, because you're unclear here, right? This is clarity. This is truth. So... I almost want to say, just ask this person. Like, if you're unclear on something, just have, uh, have an adult conversation with them. You know, because it's it's going to keep you in this state of, of mindfuckery. It's not worth it. Okay? I think you see them growing. I feel that you see them finding their stability. And for some reason, that bothers you, okay? You're seeing them find their confidence, their excitement. And it's like, I don't feel like this is something like you don't have. So this is going to be different for all of you. This is um, interesting energy here. So what is your um, advice for Scorpio? This won't resonate with everybody because I feel like this is a specific... What's your advice? Heal. This is the card of Aquarius. You could have that in your chart. But heal and do some wishing. What is it that you desire? Spirit saying focus on your desires. Yeah, because, all right, the Six of Pentacles for me is always somebody splitting their energy, giving to more than one thing. So it could be that you're... You know, it could even be somebody that has work and family and they're splitting their energy so much that it's just, it's not balanced, right? Something's got to give. So what I'm feeling here is your energy is going so much into this mind fuckery and where this person's at instead of putting it into your own life. Okay, so spirit's saying, take that energy and shift it. One more card. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, really study. I, I mm, study this situation and why it's triggering you because you can learn so much from it. We can learn so much from our triggers. It's it's really crazy. Um, that's how we grow. That's how we expand, right? So take this opportunity. Think of it as a gift. Take this opportunity to look at this. And really study this. Why am I feeling this way? I don't want to feel this way. This is not serving me. At the bottom of the deck, the Eight of Cups. Yeah, and finally walk away from those things that no longer serve you. You want to keep some things that you feel are serving you? Then keep them. But do this consciously. Be aware of it, okay? So you can move on and expand in your own life. All right, Scorpio, I hope that helps. Um, please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs. The info is in the description box below. You have yourself a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.